Yes, I'm Zanzi. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show. And what a show it's been, diving into all the headlines that are making waves this morning, and especially in our country. Now, we're going to carry on with that right now because uh, the South African Reserve Bank has warned of dire consequences should the country face censure due to its stance on Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Now, these sanctions do not only hold severe consequences for the South African government, but for the South African people as well. This is interesting stuff indeed. Now, we're going to be joined by a lady that name is Natasha Lord. She's also a tax uh, specialist and uh, she's here to break it all down with us. It's uh, time with, uh, well, Tax with Tash, I believe is the, yes. the name. But first, <laughs> let me welcome you here. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you for having me. It's, it's a cold, cold day. It's a cold back. day. Hopefully <laughs> you can warm us up because there's so much anxiety and uncertainty around what's going on with our country. Our brand and our image is being changed quite a bit. Yes. But let's talk about exactly what is happening with this warning that has come through from the South African Reserve Bank. Yeah. Is this something that has been unexpected considering everything that is happening around us? And uh, what are the implications of this? What does this warning actually mean? Yeah, I think it's a little bit unexpected because we're looking at this war taking way longer than we initially anticipated. And obviously being, us being associated with BRICS, us being associated with Russia, this becomes a bit of an issue for us if we are not taking a neutral stance and actually acting like we are neutral. Ooh. So what is happening is that I think the West is a bit wary of us saying we're neutral, but perhaps not necessarily having neutral activities, mm. um, especially with our tight economic ties with Russia and us being part of the BRICS uh, yeah. nation, yeah. It's an interesting game you're playing where we're yeah. trying to just be like <laughs> neutral to everyone, but yeah. it seems like the, the perception's not exactly that. We'll dive into that in a bit. I want to talk about these sort of sanctions that potentially could mm. take place. What would that mean for, let's say, traditional investors? What is that effect going to have on them? So we, it will affect our currency a lot. So if, if we're seeing that we're not being neutral, um, foreign investment can be hampered. And if that is the case, then we're going to face a lot more when it comes to inflation and our rand will take a knock. Ooh. And so where we put our rand and, and how far that goes and also just the economic activity that we're experiencing in the country will be affected. That goes down to just normal employment, um, suppressed economic activity. We've already seen our inflation go up yeah. just to curb, and ham to curb um, our inflation right now. Uh, so we really want to make sure that we are seen as neutral. And we're kind of like the stepchild now because yes. we do trade a lot with China. We do trade a lot with Russia, but we also trade a lot with the US. Yeah. And right now we have ideological um, discrepancies or just, you know, we're polar opposite right now. And we're kind of a tug of war in, in between. And we really need to be seen as neutral because we can't layer load shedding. We can't layer a, a, our economy uh, shrinking because we've had to adjust for that now. So yeah. has actually adjusted for that. So we can't layer all of that and then also having um, potentially direct or indirect sanctions. So now is not the time to be playing games. We need now to maintain the status quo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, can't, we can't have that happen right now. <laughs> and there's another thing that I, th I feel this Im impacts quite a bit. Uh, SWIFT payments, right? Yeah. Which is, uh, anyone doesn't know, the Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunications Systems. That's SWIFT payments that are essentially used for foreign payments to come into the country, right? Yes. If that isn't an option anymore because of this, how would we receive money is that yeah. possible even it is so they, they yeah. i mean we we align with india india also has a swift kind of system okay. however it's not going to be an easy thing that'll be a, a huge knock and i mean russia has already experienced a decline due to things like that due to being excluded from global economic yeah. trade and activity so it's just not something that we want to do because to adjust um we have a lot going on. <laughs> we have a lot, we going, have a lot on. going on. And you can to, say that again. <laughs> yeah, and so to, to really be excluded from global trade is not something that we want to do. It's not something that, it's something that we should try and avoid at all costs. Um, and so, again, if we do that, suppressed uh, international investment into our country, and again, we need that because we, we, that is what we do. We export, we import, and we need to be global players. We need to be global players. I'm loving this conversation. It's giving me more understanding of how important this actually is right now because it's going to affect pretty much all of us, right? Yeah. I, I look at things like the, you mentioned inflation. You mentioned the fact that the exchange rate isn't doing great either. So we're in a situation where we need to tend to this matter as soon as we can exactly. and make sure that we are 
I guess, seen in a better light, right? Exactly, yeah. Okay, I yeah. got you. This conversation's gonna carry on. Tasha's not going anywhere. We've got a part two in just a bit. So uh, we're gonna be delving into more of the headlines that are making waves. But before we do that, there's someone in the studio that's gonna be making waves right now. <laughs> it's my feel good Yes, Mzazi, welcome back to Feel Good Breakfast Show. Monday is edition is all about the headlines taking over and we're diving into those headlines right now. Now, with the war still going on in the Ukraine, people across the globe feel the effects, including us right here in South Africa. Now, our government has put us in, let's be honest, quite the hot pot as the Reserve Bank warns of dire consequences should South Africa face censor due to its stance on Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Now, here to hopefully put an ease and put us at ease and help us with this conversation. Back on the couch again is the amazing tax specialist, Natasha Lord. Natasha, I love the conversation we had earlier. You are very insightful. <laughs> you speak <laughs> so you. well. I thought that you've been on the show forever, but I'm, I, this is the first time you're <laughs> first here. First time, yeah. First Let's just time. say well done. Kudos <laughs> to you. You're Thank absolutely you. holding it down here. Yeah, clearly, you are doing your thing. But let's get into this because... Crazy things are happening at the moment. We spoke about uh, that conversation earlier. Right now, the war and its effects that it has on us. Could there be any sanctions in place, direct or indirect sanctions? And what is the difference between a direct and indirect sanction, if anything? Just so we understand what What's we should happening? potentially be afraid of. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so there is a potential for direct or indirect sanctions, okay. depending on okay. how vigorously the West or just how they rally people around to say that this is something that we absolutely stand against. Yeah. Um, we have seen that this has been a particularly prevalent thing in the news globally. Mm. Mm. Um, it's 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 interesting because, you know, African, Af African subjects don't get that much noise, but we are at the brim of it. So we are actually yeah. having to respond to it in a way that, so that we don't get direct or indirect sanctions. And the difference being direct sanctions will impact individuals, businesses um, that are directly trading with Russia or any associated states. Indirect sanctions will go to different places, so people that are trade partners or trade parties. Yeah. Um, and so either way, that is there to essentially keep us um, ring-fenced in our own economy, and yes. then we can't actually be global players again. You mentioned something earlier about us kind of like taking this heat and yeah. un unexpectedly so, like for us to get all this publicity amongst what's actually going on. Mm. Maybe off the record, but what are your, what's your perspective on this? I almost feel to myself as if we are being used as this sort of... Um, Stepchild. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> here's the example of what yeah. can happen if you don't do the right yeah. thing. And we being, like, put on blast, mm -hmm. almost in a sense, to kind of showcase this to the world. Does it feel yeah. like that to you as well? It does. It, it almost feels like a... Uh, I don't know if it's too strong of a term, but political bullying. Because yeah. if we don't respond in a specific way, then we get economically suppressed. And yeah. we're, we're particularly um, susceptible to that. We're not in a position to essentially fight back in the way that perhaps Russia is yeah. against these uh, sanctions. So we are really being backed into a corner and being pulled from both sides. Because if Russia doesn't feel safe to come here and for us to have a chat about what's going on and our participation in the BRICS, in the BRICS um, organization, and right now we're having so many more countries wanting to join that. So if we don't play to either one, we're kind of backed into a corner. Um, we trade with China a lot, we trade with Russia, we trade with the US a lot, we trade yeah. with India a lot. So, you know, if we're not aligned in the right places, we're kind of walking on eggshells. As I already we, as feel like <laughs> yeah. we don't know what <laughs> and to and do It's, it's or all say. on perception, you know, it's all on, if you're seen this way, if you look this way, yeah. it's going to have an impact on our RAND, it's going to have an impact on our foreign investment. And so we really have to see how we respond to this because it, it will determine how we can be swayed in different ways um, because we don't align with certain things. Mm. So right now, we're actually not able to take a firm stance anywhere. Uh, if we do, it will affect us. So we have to kind of play it by ear and figure out what's happening. We have to take a neutral stance because we, if you yeah. choose any side, there's going to be a guaranteed negative impact yeah. from somebody else, right? So exactly. So playing our cards best would mean just, just stay <laughs> just in staying, there. <laughs> yeah, just keeping quiet and kind of keeping okay, our cool. Okay. And so we're, we're really backed into a very interesting yes. corner here where I just feel like we don't really have a, a place to stand to say that yeah. we actually stand for this or we stand against this because we will face, the, we will bear the brunt of that. Just put out fires wherever you can and keep the peace. Keep the peace. <laughs> yeah. Everything's fine. Everything's okay. fine. So, so let's talk about how this maybe impacts us directly as South Africans, right? Yeah. I mean, talking about things like the exchange rate. Mm -hmm. 
19 rand 53 cents to the dollar. That is insane. I've never yeah. seen that number. And we're looking <laughs> at the euro as well. 21 rand 4 cents or 0 0.4. Yeah, that is crazy. It's crazy. How does this affect us? Because yeah. initially, I mean, it doesn't really affect us if you look at like just buying things mm -hmm. first off. It's like, well, I still have 10 rand in my pocket and that thing still costs 10 rand, so I can afford it. Mm -hmm. So what's the real issue? Or what, what are we not seeing in that example there? Yeah, it's the inflation. So absolutely Russia, Ukraine war has an impact, but we're just going through our own suppressed economy. I mean, we've got a huge decline in our economic growth just due to things like our load shedding. So we have our own issues that yes. we need to deal with. Already as uh, it is, exactly. yeah. Exactly. So we've seen inflation go up in non-alcoholic beverages and food. So your RAND is not going to stretch as much mm. in those spaces. Mm. And that's something that directly impacts us. You know, we all need to eat and drink. So our economy and uh, our economic activity is being suppressed because of many factors, but we've had to respond with our monetary policy by essentially raising the interest rates. Another way that it's affecting ordinary South Africans is your home loans. So your home loans, your, your credit facilities, all of that, we're paying a lot more because of inflation. So yes, Russia, Ukraine, there's an element, but we have our own issues right. and that's, that's it's a big thing that we need to start addressing. And we're trying to do that with monetary policy, but we need to do a lot more. We do. And <laughs> yeah. Dasha, having conversations like this and having you around definitely helps that. So thank you so yeah. much for sharing your insights, yeah. your passions. You're incredible when it comes to this conversation. Thank One you. more thing, while we have you here, while we have your expertise, what can Mzanzi do in these uncertain times? Mm. What sort of financial advice do you have for us mm -hmm. to try to deal with this chaos that we're living in? I think this is vital for us. Yeah, so the biggest thing, especially when it comes to your taxes, you should have a tax plan. I always say this to everybody. No one should get to the end of tax season and not have a rough idea of what they're due yeah. or what they need to pay. Yeah. So having a tax plan and revisiting that, especially if you're making steps to, for instance, put your money in a different currency to he hedge the risk of our RAND uh, getting okay. worse, okay. which, um, the, the governor has said it might get a little bit worse. So it might be a thing that people decide to put their currency in a, their rand in a different currency. Um, so take a look at your tax plan, figure out what's going on. If you don't have one, speak to somebody, uh, especially people who want to financially emigrate or they want to emigrate, what does that look like? But essentially, we just kind of have to buckle down, hold it together, and also hold our nation accountable because this is affecting us. This is yes. affecting our RAND. Or we could just go follow Natasha Lord online and get all the <laughs> advice that we need. Absolutely. Thank you again, Natasha. You've been thank absolutely you. incredible. And thank you, Mzansi, for being part of this conversation. If you have anything to weigh in, come through on the social media line. That's 0634088863. And let this conversation continue. Nice stuff. Thank you. <laughs>